This is the software interface. We can see different platforms on the left. This is the first platform. This is a dual laser platform with one and two fields. This is the D150 platform. Taking it as an example, let's learn how to prepare the crown printing. Import the data you want to print. Locate the folder. Select all and open. Prompts if to convert dimensions. Apply to all and click no. Usually, the cups of the imported crowns face down. Choose all the parts first. Rotate the x-axis 180 degrees. Apply and all the cups face up. Select all again. Use the 2D nesting. And apply. All the parts will be arranged on the platform automatically. If there is a crown not placed in the platform, we can adjust it manually and move it into the platform. Check if there is any part not well placed by the side view and front view. Choose the not well placed part. Right click. Hide unselected parts. Adjust it. to the same height. Then move it to the default Z. Right click. Show all parts. Select next part. And do it again. Repeat all the operations until all the crown are at the same height. Select all and do the 2D nesting again. After the adjustment, some parts will collide with the adjacent parts, so we need to arrange them again. After arrangement, we can use collision detection to check if the crowns collide with each other. The result shows no collision detected. Next step, select all and add support. Choose a script, crown block cross shape. After the processing, the cross-shaped block support is added. For long bridge with four or more crowns, we need to add bar support to strengthen the support. Press Ctrl to select multiple long bridges. Choose script crown bar. Prompts if to delete the current support. Apply to all and click no. After adding bar support, we may see some supports are generated in the crowns. We need to delete them manually. Select the support and enter the support module. Select Polyline. Click the Support and Delete. When there is a large support, we can choose Select Support. 
The selected support will show blue anchors. Check the support in the support list on the left. Right click. Delete surface to delete the support. Or select and delete it directly. Either way is okay. Exit support module. Apply support. No support is in the crown. For half mouth bridge, we can add support manually. Choose the part. Enter support module. You can add all kinds of support. For example, add bar support. Click to add support anchors. Click on the anchor again to cancel the support. Right click to apply all the supports. Generate the bar support automatically and exit. Prompts, do you want to apply? Click apply. Adding support manually is done. After adding support, select all the parts. Click Boolean Merge Parts. Prompts, if to remove old parts? Select Yes. You will find only one part shown in the part list on the left. Select the part. Create build file. Change the part's name. Select the save path. Assign script to parts. Select build script for the printer. For Cobalt Chrome Crown, we use the 30 Cobalt Chrome script. Select and save. The software is processing and generates a printing file. After the build file is generated, a toolbar will appear on the left to check the path planning and slicing. You can check the layout here. Save the project in case you want to check the data next time. Open the folder where the project is saved. File with the suffix .rtp is the printing file. DXD is the data preparation project. Import.rtp file to the printer to print.